Welcome back to AI and Design Tutorials. My name is Amber and on this channel I teach you how to make money using your AI and design skills. In this video I'm giving you a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to make some passive income using your own AI generated stock photo images. So let's start with this prompt. Go to ChatGPT and type this in exactly. Write five highly detailed image prompts for stock photos of interiors. The interiors should feature a couch, a clean minimalist design, wall space so that the photos can be used in Etsy mockups or real estate photos. Now you're going to want to be sure to type in this prompting style. So you're using terms like natural lighting, interior mockup, clean wall background, DSLR, 50 millimeter lens, realistic textures, photo realism, and then include this. Ensure that the image prompts are formatted for Leonardo AI, because that's going to be our next step. Go ahead and hit generate. So here we go. Here are our prompts. We've got some really good ones. A cozy Scandinavian style living room, a modern minimalist apartment interior. Look, interior photos are what sells. You want to go with what works. Go ahead and copy that prompt and let's head over to Leonardo AI. If you guys hear any background noise, that's just my toddler toddlering. So just hear it and give me a thumbs up anyway, because I can't keep re-recording this. So now that you're on Leonardo, you're going to click try flow state. Each image only costs one token and it is fast generation. Now you're going to click the vibe and you're going to go ahead and select pro photo or stock photo. For this, I'm going to choose stock photo. The next thing we're going to do is click our lighting. You can select what lighting you like. For this one, I'm actually going to leave it blank because it's going to generate with all the lightings and I can just go through and select what I like. Now for shot type, this one is actually important. You're going to either want to click elegant or cinematic. For this, I'm going to go ahead and click elegant. Now for your color theme, there's a lot of different options. Um, I find that choosing complementary tends to work the best. And so that's what I'm going to select. Let's do a one to one ratio or 16 by nine. I'm going to do 16 by nine and I have prompt enhance on um, because I'm a paid user. I can have private mode. And now we're going to go ahead and take that chat GPT prompt and we're going to paste it in Leonardo and we're going to hit generate and let's see what we get. Boom. Look at those beautiful images, very clear and very clean. And we have several to choose from. So it really helps you generate that idea out really quickly and gives us a lot of options, a lot of photos that we can use for our stock photos. So I'm just scrolling through here. I'm, I'm just looking for a photo that really looks clean and stands out to me. Look at this one. This one's really nice. It looks very realistic, but we're still going to want to make sure that we upscale our images. That way we get the cleanest resolution possible. So we're going to hit upscale. Do ultra. Leave all the settings. It's on two. It's on high. That's what we want. We want to make sure it says realistic and then we're going to hit upscale. As you can see, it's loading right now. And there you have it. There is our upscale. So as you can tell, it has a lot more details. Um, it just looks sharper. It looks like a sharper image. And that's what you want for this. For your stock photos, you really need sharp and clean. So I'm going to go ahead and download this image and we're going to hop over to wire stock. It allows you to monetize your AI generated images and it pushes it out to various stock photo websites. And so as you can see, this is my portfolio here. These are some stock photos that I've submitted. Um, so you're going to want to click submit and go to marketplace and then you're going to hit upload and you're going to go ahead and grab that image that we downloaded from Leonardo. Then you're going to go to chat GPT and upload the same image that you downloaded from Leonardo. Here, you're going to type in this exact prompt and please do the exact prompt because it's going to save you time. We're going to submit the details of our photo manually. That way we get the best SEO results. So please provide the details needed for me to submit this photo to Wirestop. Ensure that your output is SEO optimized so that my listing has the most visibility and the information you output is specific and relevant to the photo. Here's what you should output when I submit a photo to you for Wirestop. Number one, a caption, max 500 characters. Number two, a description, max 150 characters. Number three, a title. Number four, the most relevant category for the photo. Number five, 50 unique 
non-redundant tags. Use each word once. Number six, additional info. In parentheses, a short paragraph describing the image in detail, context, setting, subject, mood, and then you're gonna go ahead and hit generate and it's gonna give you all the information that we are literally just gonna copy and paste into Wirestock. How easy is that? Now we're gonna head back to wirestock.io and we are gonna select that this is an AI generated image. Now, you can select what tool we used by choosing other and then typing in Leonardo and you can add the prompt that we used if you wanna sell the prompt. I usually don't, I don't find that a lot of people are trying to buy stock photo prompts. Um, but that is something you can do if you choose. Now, once you've selected that this is an AI generated image, you're literally just going to go back to your other tab on ChatGPT, copy the information and paste it where it says caption and do the same thing. Copy the description, paste it where it says description. It's really simple. So look, don't count yourself out. Like I always say, you can start making some passive income doing this. Just copy and paste. Now, once we put our additional info in, we're all done. We're going to hit next, and then you can select which marketplace you want to choose. Uh, if you pay for it, you can do Wirestock and the external marketplaces. Honestly, I see the most sales coming from Wirestock Marketplace on its own. So if you don't want to pay for it, that's okay. You can still get sales just from Wirestock alone. Once you selected where you want the photo to go, you're going to hit submit. And when you go to your portfolio, you'll see the photo uploaded. It'll have Wirestock's watermark on there. And then when you scroll down, you're gonna see all the details related to the photo. And you'll notice that your photo is in review. That's because they have to review your photo before they can release it onto the marketplace. Now, during this time, you can uh, send this image to any prospective buyers that you might have. But until then, you gotta wait for this review. It does take some days to weeks, especially if you're not a paid member, it's gonna be a few weeks. Um, so this is not a get rich quick scheme. Uh, this is more like a set it and forget it. Here are my earnings. You can see that I made some funds in December of last year. January, I have a few more funds. I kind of skipped February and then I started back in March. Um, I've made a total of like $10. So again, lunch money. It's not a get rich quick uh, method. However, if you can upload more photos than me, at least 100 a month, then you can set it and forget it. And this will build over time. As you can see, I had a total of 39 downloads, which really isn't bad for someone who hasn't uploaded like 100 photos a month. So with 100 photos a month, you'll at least see most likely more income than me sticking with those interior photos, which I found uh, had the most downloads. So here's the next thing. This is my recommended plan. Create image prompts and wire stock listing with ChatGPT. Purchase the apprentice plan from Leonardo. And then for wire stock, I would just stick with the free mode because you're not gonna make back that $12 a month, um, at least for a little bit. Now, Leonardo's $12 a month apprentice plan is really good. You have a rollover token bank, and so you'll be able to generate all these stock images that you need with that fast, fast generation, and you won't even use all your tokens. Again, for the wire stock, the free plan, but if you wanna pay for it, I understand, because again, that review stage takes forever if you're not paid. Um, and sometimes they'll, they'll say like, you know, it'll be stuck in review and then they'll deny it and only make it for your portfolio. If that happens to you, it just means that you have to upscale it and the resolution wasn't where it needs to be. So here are their plans. So this is their premium. You can see all the stuff that you get on the yearly. Um, for the monthly, I believe it's like $12 a month or $12.99 or something like that. And so that's your prerogative. Um, I'm not going to be paying them $12 a month anymore at the moment. So. I'm sticking with the free plan, uh, but if you're going to do those 100 photos a month, if you can commit to that, maybe pay for that $12 a month plan on Wirestock once, upload all your photos, prep for the next month, and be done with it. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, please give it a thumbs up and drop a comment below. And remember to subscribe for more AI and design tutorials, where I teach you how to take simple AI tools and various design skills and monetize your creations.